Manatees continue to die in large numbers across our state, mostly on Florida's east coast. There are thousands of dedicated people fighting to save the species. In this full circle follow up report from a story that we brought you last spring, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska is returning to the waters. He has an exclusive look at what a research swim with hundreds of manatees at the Tico Big Bend Power Station looks like. Jen Galbraith is a manatee tracker with Clearwater Marine Aquarium Research Institute. She spends most of her time out of the water on a boat. Last year, for a special full circle report, we tracked a manatee with her for hours. But on this chilly February morning, she was in the water of the Big Bend Tico Discharge Canal. It hovers around a comfortable 78 degrees. The power plant warms the water, drawing in manatees from all over, including the ones that Galbraith is tracking. A one-stop shop and a perfect opportunity to swim in and check on them all. Now I do always have a safety team with me. That's their job to worry about the sharks and the other things. I'm focused on the job. And once that job is done, I'm out. 12 o'clock, Jim, 12 o'clock. Buddy Harrison, a retired U.S. Navy captain, is her spotter. The mission today, find Cam Lee and take off her tracker. She has demonstrated excellent behavior as far as finding warm water and food, adapt adapting to her environment, maintaining her body condition. She's done everything you could ask a manatee to do that is going back to the wild. And today was the day that she was officially released from monitoring and we call that graduating. Galbraith's taken care of Cam Lee for six years. Once she removed the tracker, it was a bittersweet goodbye. First time in six years, I don't know where that animal is. Smoke on up. Galbraith says with so many manatees suffering in the wild, their research is showing that manatees can be rehabilitated, tracked and set free without needing humans ever again for support in the wild. A small success story for manatees that are increasingly getting rescued and rehabbed across the entire state for starvation, red tide, cold stress and boat strikes. I cried a little out there, I'm not gonna lie. Um, a little bit, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's weird because I know she knows what she's doing. I know she has everything she needs to succeed, and yet she's gone. I mean, she's just gone. She's just out there. I hope she just goes off and lives the manatee life. In Tampa, I'm Michael Paluska with photojournalist Reed Moeller, ABC Action News.